All right, I'm going to look at how to read a list of items from a file and sort them using Python. So first of all, I have a file right here. I'm going to go ahead and open this and take a look at it. And you can see that there are um, five lines of data. And I want to sort these five lines so that they are come out in the correct alphabetical order, which just happens to be numeric order as well. But we'll go ahead and do that. So first thing I do is I create a program that will do my sorting. So I'll call this a sort.py. Maybe I'll do sort for a list, sort list.py. All right, change that. And then I go ahead and I edit it with um, Notepad++. And the first thing I'll do is figure out what file am I going to be sorting. And I need to read that in from the command line arguments. So I'll import sys. And then I need to figure out my file name. So my file name is going to be equal to sys.argv1. So the first argument after the name of the program. So I just need to figure out, first of all, if I have that. So if length sys.argv so if the length is less than two then I want to just go ahead and exit so I will do that by printing out an error message say file name missing Normally, you'd have it, some kind of a usage function you'd call. That's fine. I'll do sys exit zero. All right. Now I've got this file name and I want to open the file name. So I'll do a file handle equals my open file name and read only. I want to close that also so that I make sure I don't forget. Uh, not that it actually matters because uh, uh, Python does automatically close your file handles later on if you don't have them closed. Um, but it could cause problems you want to try opening the file again and other things like that. So I will do a while true statement here for an infinite loop. You want to have your base case. So the base case basically, um, well, you, you do your getting your data first. And then the base case would be if not a line break. So if I don't get a line in, that means I've reached the end of the file or something else weird happened and I'm just going to break out. All right. Now I'm going to sort the contents of the file. And in order to sort the contents of the file, I am going to need to put them into a list somewhere. So I'm going to create a list. So contents, and it'll be an empty list. And I'm going to put these lines into that list. So contents append, that puts it at the end of the list, my line. So I put the line at the end of the list. At the end of this while loop, because it broke out, I should have a contents line that is now, or a contents list that now has all the lines in it. So I'm going to go ahead and sort them. Let's go ahead and label this section right here. So this is read in contents. And this would be sort contents. Now, the nice thing is you can sort it very, very quickly. You can do contents sort. You can also manually write your own thing to sort it, but we're just going to sort it automatically this way right here. Next. I want to go ahead and display the contents. Um, I could write them out to a file, but I'm just going to display them instead. So display contents. And the way you do that is you have to loop over the contents. So you do for line in contents. So that will go over every single line that's in the contents. I'm going to then print my line. Now there is one little issue here. And that is that this print statement does have a new line at the end of it. So if I don't want that new line to show up, I could 
um, tell it to not have an end of line character, or I can remove it up here. So let's go ahead and remove it up here so you can see how to do that. Um, so before I append it right here, so this would be my cleaning up, clean the input. I'll do line equals line replace replace slash n with a nothing otherwise it'll end up printing the line that be blank lines in between them and you'll be confused and it will make sense all right so this is the whole file for just going through and sorting it and printing it out again so let's go ahead and run it now and we'll see how it works. So I'm going to pop up a command prompt and I'll do a directory listing. I can see there is a sort list. So I'll do a sort list, run it, and it says file name missing sort list with my person data and it prints it out in a sorted order based on the Python automatic sorting algorithm. And that is how you can read in a file and sort the contents.